Hi, you've clicked on this video because you want to know how to take an odontoid view perfectly every time, and I'm going to show you how it works for me. We're looking here at an odontoid view, and it's perfectly positioned. You have the dens right going through the middle. You've got beautiful joint spaces here. It's not rotated. There's no motion. There's no artifacts. The top of the teeth are out of the way, as well as the bottom of the teeth. You can't ask for anything better than this. So, how do they tell you how to do this? They tell you how to do it by putting the central ray at the bottom of the top of the teeth, and it has to go through the mastoid tip, which is underneath the ear. Then you bring it down to the apex here, the crease. Shoot this way, and you should get a great picture. But I'm gonna offer a couple of alternatives. Let's say your patient comes in and they're wearing a neck collar. The mastoid tip lives somewhere around there, but you can't feel it because it's in a collar. So you'd have to guess. And guessing is not something you want to do in radiology. You don't want to do it as an x-ray tech. You don't want to do it as a radiologist. You don't want to do it in so many ways. What happens if the person doesn't have a neck collar on, but they got in a fight and they broke their teeth? Now you have no bottom of the top teeth to go on. So again, you're guessing or you're estimating, and those are not good things either. So what I suggest is instead of doing it this way, which is how the book tells you to do it, going through the top of the teeth in the mastoid tip, okay? The book does it great, but that's only on an ideal patient. So this is what I recommend. You find the bottom of the nose where it hits the upper part of the lip, and you find the EAM or the ear hole. You line up your central ray so it goes right through here and bisects the EAM. After you do that, you bring it down to the crease, which is right here. It's a simple tube adjustment up and down. You keep their EAM and the bottom of the nose where it intersects the top of the lip, and you'll nail it every time. I can show you in, <clears throat> excuse me, I can show you what it looks like in a radiograph. This is the book view here. This is what they tell you in the book to go right down this bottom line. And this is what I'm showing you. Bottom of the nose, top of the lip, going all the way through, bisecting the EAM and out again. Okay. If you do that and then bring it down to where the patient opens their mouth and there's a crease, you'll nail it. On a radiograph, it looks pretty similar. This is a digital radiograph of the skull and face. It's digital because you can tell because there's so much definition in the soft tissue. So again, here is the bottom of the top of the teeth, and here is the mastoid tip right here. My suggestion, bring everything up, go through the bottom of the nose where it meets the upper part of the lip, come all the way across to the ear hole, and out. Once you got that, bring it all down, just like you normally would as they teach you in the book. If you do this, and you do it exactly how it is here, I guarantee, every single time you'll end up with this. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope this helps. And like I said in the beginning, please feel free to leave a comment. I'm going to be putting more of these videos up as time permits. And have a great day and a great career.